I want to see at least 10,000 people say F in this comment section. Yes! Oh, shoot! When I was growing up, my parents were dead set on telling me that the kids and the friends that I met online were not your actual real friends at all. So a couple weeks ago, I had uh, a couple, like three friends over for 4th of July that I all met on Xbox. It was awesome, we had a great weekend together, and this is my friend Jeff. My name is Jeff. My name Jeff, and I met him on Xbox, and uh, we've been friends for like five years. Six, I think. Six. It's Three. been a long time. But he's actually, uh, he details, and he has been, we've been like working on paint correcting, or doing, you know, a moderate correction on the new Civic. It's looking pretty damn good, dude. Oh, you guys need to meet Jerome. Hold up, let me go ahead and introduce you guys. While everybody was too scared to go to Area 51, me and Jerome here, he, we, I busted him out. You can't see him move or speak because he talks and moves so quickly. The human eyes can't actually notice. But he's a real dude, and um, just don't tell just don't tell the Air Force that I have this dude because they probably would be super pissed. And we're actually fixing the other Civic today. Are you ready to experience a uh, a boosted Civic for your first time? Boosted Civic. <laughs> Here's a little before action. Ooh, nice nasty scratches. Mmm, Brody. Come on, oh. Jeff. Be careful with the first mod, dude. Oh, dude, on, I'm so man. sorry. And there you go, boys. She's not perfect, but she's looking good. That's neutral, bro. Oh, I see, bro. Woo! All right, okay, okay. Damn, bro, look how JDM this is. 17 horsepower. Oh, man, I got, some, I got a little bit of wax left over, but. Shoot, she day one, just off of the showroom. No cap. All right, anyways, we have got, um, we've got to go. Tonight we're drag racing the Turbo Civic for the first time, but as you guys saw, it made too much power for the stock clutch or whatever clutch is in the car. So I ordered a very special clutch. I've got to go to the post office to pick it up myself. And then we've got to haul ass the track star to install it, install the clutch, fix the suspension, and tune the car all before drag racing. In the home, I'm like, poop dick. Ain't nothing get in my way, nothing to say. I told Chopper, like, poop dick. I want pajamas to move for it. ECU, map sensor, upper control arms, and steering wheel, I think, is in my hands right now. And then he's got the. Dude, look at this old school shirt, though. Who remembers this shirt? Check it out. Dude, give, me, give me a little model pose for it. Mm. Oh, you remember that shirt? God, I miss my baby so much, dude. This is, uh, ooh, that cast iron's looking pretty, pretty toasty. So the first thing we've gotta do is replace the clutch. So I have an action clutch coming, but I'm actually gonna be using the action clutch for the other Civic whenever I do the manual swap. I bought a really cheap eBay clutch that Victoria's about to bring by, and we're gonna see what a $70 eBay clutch does with launch control and 300 horsepower or so. I'm incredibly thrilled about this. I would, I say I would never suggest doing this, but Honestly, it might work really well. Since the rest of the car is eBay, might as well just go with the theme. All right, so eBay branding everywhere at Clutch Max. All right, <laughs> you ever heard of Clutch Max? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put a nice little Clutch Max in here today. Woo! We're not only gonna be installing it, but with about probably 20 miles driven on it, we're gonna be doing launch control at the drag strip. So we're really gonna see like, isn't eBay Clutch okay? And, wow, dude. What will blow first, the motor or the clutch? All right, so this is wet. That doesn't look too bad. It just looks like a clutch, to be honest. It looks pretty decent. Got a throw out bearing in here. And then let's see this beautiful boy. Bro, look at this. Sprung six puck. This thing was like $65 on eBay. First time you get it. Plus shipping. I think 10 passes right there? 10 or more? Wow, okay. We're kind of we're like kind of taking bets on for what? Like how long she's going to last? Bucks? Like, that's yeah. Cool. We're going to test it. We're going to your money and happiness right there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they even gave me a sticker. Boys, where should the Clutch Max sticker go? I feel like we're going to have a little bit better luck if I put this somewhere. Yeah, dude, why don't you just put right, right in the Sandy spot, just so we can know we're sponsored by Clutch. We're not sponsored by Clutch Max. Look at that. And now it's gonna melt on there and you're gonna forever know. That's gonna give us just enough luck to make it at least 10 passes tonight. Look how small the transmission is in this car. That is so 
what is that like nine bolts and then some stuff to take out that's awesome you just take that off and then what bam clutch here's what Ethan's working on right now big boy <laughs> He's a wizard. Like he does magic. He has a wand that he tunes with. He literally just does some magic on your car. She went in. Yeah. All right, dude. So last time, um, not only was a clutch an issue, we also needed to uh, replace some suspension components. My upper control arms were not installed correctly at all, and so like I had a death wobble. And then I also need to, yeah, I, I needed to change my inner tie rod. We had to stop tuning it about like. 15 16 psi about 250 horsepower last time which is just still kind of fun but i didn't buy a uh a civic and boost it just to get a, hey, a little bit of fun in it no i want full send i want a rod to pop out the bottom of this block i want a rod to pop out the bottom of this block oh yeah it's great while we're waiting on us to pan out i got a nice new steering wheel from dnd i want to say thank you to you guys She's looking fresh, dude. I'm loving the interior on this car. It's looking good. So we're gonna take her for a little spin. Don't ask why I have gloves on, because I'm a doctor, I guess. <laughs> so we're just gonna check and see if everything's yeah, nothing, anything? nothing too uh, vicious yet. I mean, like, do we know? Do we know if the time. speed sensor works now? We don't know that. It's it does not well. work. Yeah. I'm gonna go easy on the clutch at all. Yeah, just go. Yeah, go easy on the clutch right now. Let's just do a short drive, just normal drive. in the clutch and now all of a sudden I got dead zone of zero steering at all and um, the car just decided to like start really pulling hard one direction and it wasn't torque steer try and diagnose it I guess so like when I do this oh, oh the whole the whole, the whole steering rack is moving yeah all right the whole thing so yeah, very bad rack bushings this rack bushing, I mean, yeah, but it's definitely yeah. not helpful for right now. Okay. Um, can't, can't do anything about that right now, but it, it is the wow. rack itself. Pulls are good, but try not, we're not trying to spin the tires too much because that's rough on the clutch. Amazing. Sounds like it's straight out of Fast and Furious. Yeah. Did you hear Tokyo Drift in the background while I was driving? Yeah. Okay. This is an arm workout. Go 
harder on the throttle because it went from like 50 up to 60 after the throttle go dropped on out. The throttle win. Like as soon as it cut, did you then dip in harder? You think? Because no, like, see, definitely not. See the TPS go 50, 50, and then we hit the cut, and then it went to 60. So I don't know. Maybe no, the yeah, throttle was... position sensor is not reading right. <laughs> It, uh, it was started, started squirting everywhere, so we went ahead and adjusted yeah, that, tightened that up. We should be okay. We're gonna do one more like good rip to make sure the car is good for the track. All right, you good? Good. We're gonna rip it first. Yeah, one, two, three. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Us not no. <laughs> oh my god, it's so depressing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Was this going? Huh? Yeah, this was going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was going. going. Well, 20, I don't know, 22, 23 right there. It said nope. My god, man. I <laughs> I was like so worried about like what blowing a motor would feel like. Well, that's what it feels that's what like. it <laughs> just boom! Oh shoot! Oh! I mean, it's 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 blown. Parts left. It's blown. You yeah, let's see. Take a walk down. Yeah, there. you wanna hear us? Let's see. Oh damn, dude! Oh, oh whoa, whoa! Yeah, there's motor parts. That's motor. That's motor. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Where the hell? Where did it like actually blow? Note to self: D16 is okay. Like. 20, 21, 21 PSI, and then 23, what was it, like 23 or something? Yeah, 23 pounds, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, it blew way back here. You wanna see if there's a freaking rod in the road or something? I don't, I don't see any chunks, like it sounded like we were like leaving chunks. Oh, I definitely heard but... chunks. I can't, I think I can see the spot where we blew. Oh, what is this? What is this? Yes! Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> Oh, so I guess we know what let go. A rod <laughs> seems to have. That's pretty cool to find in the street. Though. All right, I'm keeping that forever, dude. Rest in peace. I've had them live for like, you know, a long time on 20 pounds, but like, yeah. you know, a few months generally on, but damn, couldn't even make it to stock once. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, I think there's more. That's, there's that's more. That's part of a block. That's right block. There. That's what, so the block chunk left? Then the rod, you know. Then the rod yeah. said, no, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and dip I too. But we're still going, there's still... There's okay, seat. we're just collecting. It's like Easter egg hunting now. <laughs> I think we found the, the big piece. This is all oil, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a... Straight out of the piston. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. It's still hot. 
Yeah, oh yeah, it's very hot. My hand is burning. Part of the piston, right here, a rod. Where the hell, it, okay, yeah, I guess it blew like right here. This is good. Look at this oil. For like literally maybe an eighth of a mile, we just poured. Yeah, I think it blew like right here. Yeah, you can see like, I think it blew up like here. And you can see like some, ah! damn. And we were, we were purposely keeping the rep limiter really low. Man. Like, oh, that was, I don't, that was so fun. <laughs> God what got me was we're riding in the car and I was like, it feels fun, but it's not like that. Yeah, much. yeah. Turn it up a little bit more, you know, like. Okay, <laughs> well, good news is we know that now we got another D-Series at home. We can do similar things to, but maybe a little more conservatively. That's a lot of oil. <laughs> All the oils. Oh, right on the tires too. Hey, you know, Ethan? What? I'm impressed the turbo did not blow before <laughs> the motor did. <laughs> the turbo's still good for another I wanna one. know I wanna know where it went through the block. Oh it's definitely front. You can see it out right out the front, all the oil right there. Oh I wanna see it so bad. Well that's also really good. I can now take this trans off and manual swap the, the 98. <laughs> <laughs> and then start the K swap on this baby. Wow. Meanwhile, so Ethan and Evan decided to go out for a quick run. I, get, I don't know what they were doing exactly, but you know, a good five minutes later, I get a great phone call from D. Evan Shanks. Yep, sorry, motor's blown. Come rescue. So we're about to go and find out and see how this is. All right, this is it. Rip. Jeez. F. Look at that. F. <laughs> F. Oh. F. Oh, look at that. Wow. You know, it, it happens Press just F the in the comments section. This always does. Uh, guys, this has been so fun. Hey, hey girl, we just blew our motor. Can we get a ride? <laughs> this is, <laughs> that was, that was fun. That was legitimately fun. We're gonna try not to do that to the next car. But it happens, it happens, it's fine, it's totally fine. But now we get to start with the uh, the beast mode. 23, that purple number down there, pink, purple, pink, 23.6. 23.6 PSI, yeah. that's the golden number, boys. So if you're building a D-series <laughs> single overhead cam, that's not built. And this go was, to, this was low RPM, this was like 68, not even 6,800, that, that happened at 5,200 RPM. I was gonna say, it was almost to the point where I would shift to fourth. Yeah. How's your trip to Texas now? Um, this trip is a million <laughs> times better. <laughs> I got the greatest phone call today. You can see it, look, look it, I, I can't show them now. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's massive, look like behind the turbo, Jeff. Yeah, it's, it's if you look down huge. Oh yeah, definitely press F in the comments section. I want to see at least 10,000 people say F in this comment section. Ripperino. Am I the only person in the world that just would get like the most excited about his motor blowing? Because I'm stoked. Today could not have been better. Oh, we waited for this for so long now. Yeah, baby. It was about 300 horsepower before it blew, and it felt so fast. Like it felt probably like it could take on my Evo or like maybe like not get completely gap sized. Finally felt what 300, a little over 300 feels like in a Honda. And God dang, I cannot wait. Can't wait for what happens next. And you know, we're not even giving any credit right now to the man himself, Clutch Max with seven miles on the clutch, dude, ripping gears. Mission accomplished, boys. And to answer your question, yes. eBay clutch? So far, we haven't launched it yet, though. All right, well, we're on the trailer and we're ready to go home. Ethan, we did exactly as planned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess the next step is to take it home remove the motor the nice thing is i can now use this transmission and every one of the parts to uh, swap into my uh my 98 civic and i can get started with the motor swap on this what are you thinking all-wheel drive k yes. you know that's like i love ethan he puts up with my antics and uh does crap like that never is it really a desire for a tuner to blow up somebody's car but since the beginning, that has been the idea so that we can go ahead and move forward with the engine swap. And I think we are, uh, 
I am really excited to um, get this process going. And also do a very similar build, but a little bit better and try not to blow up, you know, the car that I just bought. That was fun. Like I, I don't think I've ever had that much fun with cars. And surprisingly, it was just something blowing up in front of my face. And I think that's just what I needed today. <laughs> what were you, what were your first thoughts whenever I like called? When you called me, I was like, rip. I just expected a giant oil bottle. <laughs> I just want to say big thanks to Ethan. Uh, seriously, like he is, he was not still, he really, really, really wanted to get out to the track, but you can, one, you never know what you can expect with these stock D16s that have 200,000 miles on them. That motor was actually engine swapped, so you never know what actually was going wrong with it, but mm, I can't wait to uh, recover, come back stronger with both Hondas. My daily advice for you guys today, uh, kind of going along with this subject, is if you have an idea and you really are passionate about something, I say go for it. No matter how silly people think you are for it, no matter how dumb people people think you are, um, if something really matters to you and you're really, really enthusiastic about something, I say go for it. Worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work as well as you want or you fail, but you know what? That always makes you stronger. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> we got some stuff to do. Deuce. All right, boys, you got, uh, you, know, you know the drill. You do have two videos right in front of you to watch. This video that I just filmed is definitely gonna be on that, those two videos for like a year, because this is the best day of my life, except for uh, when I married Victoria. <laughs>